This is a R&W, this is their big buck. Um, it's supposed to be a 250 pound deer. I've shot a 250 pound deer and this is bigger than a 250 pound deer, I think. Um, so it's, it's huge. Uh, when you look at it online, it doesn't look very big. And the measurements are hard to tell exactly what it is, but I will tell you this, it says 250 pounds. It's a big deer. Um, this, is a bit, this is a really big target and it's heavy too. It's hard to move. Um, but it's dense. It's, it resembles like a McKenzie or a Reinhardt um, uh, full body deer target, like a like their tournament series kind. Um, it's the real dense foam. Uh, it's supposed to be the self healing foam, which you can see this side here hasn't been shot yet. The other side has been shot 15, 20 times, maybe 30 times. Um, and it's, it, I will say this, it heals up just like it's supposed to. I haven't had any issue with pass throughs or anything like that. Brand new target, you shouldn't. Um, one thing that I was told is that it takes three, two or 300 shots to break this target in where you can get your arrows out. But I can say um, I'm shooting the Easton Axis um, 340s, but I've got the 11 30 seconds field tip on there with a broadhead adapter on the end. And with these, I haven't had any issues with being able to pull them out. Um, they pull out just fine. So uh, maybe shooting a standard diameter arrow without a, an, a, a bigger field tip, maybe you'll have issues. I don't know, but I haven't had a bit of issue pulling my arrows out from brand new. Um, I can't say enough about this target. It seems like it's going to be a really, really good target for me. Um, no complaints at all. The way the body locks together when you move it, you don't have to worry about it falling apart on you or anything like that. Um, the antlers just stake in the top of the head. I'm not really worried about the antlers, but as far as durability, I think it's going to be a really good target, um, and I'm really happy with it. Now, the other one I got was this Glendale right here. Now, this is their uh, full rut. It's supposed to resemble a 300-pound deer. I would say this is a 300-pound deer. Um, it's I've never seen a 300-pound deer, but. Uh, this thing right here is huge. You can't tell how wide it is from the picture, but or from the video right here, but it is, it's wide. Um, same thing with this target. It's got the pattern on it for uh, this one, instead of having ASA, I do like that it's got your lungs and all that stuff, your heart, your liver. But as you can see on this, the way it's turned right now, it's backwards, which is fine. I can just turn it. But what am I, my reason for saying that is I don't really pay attention to this either. On both targets, I like to aim right where the leg comes up, the white of the armpit, right in here, tight to the shoulder. Now your shoulder is going to run kind of right through here, so just a little bit behind where you think that shoulder is, that's where I always aim. I don't really even pay attention to the, the actual targets on the deer. Um, this one here is a lot easier to pull out of, um, if that matters to anybody. Uh, it don't really matter to me, I don't really care. but. Um, it is really easy to pull out of. Um, I won't probably shoot broadheads at this one. Uh, it says you can. I'm not taking anything away from it. I just probably won't. This one here, um, I know from experience you can shoot broadheads in it. I had the pre-rut before I got the, before my parents got me this one for Christmas. Um, and I sh we shot broadheads a lot into it, which I'll show you here in a minute what that target looks like. But anyway, can't say enough about these targets. Um, the only downside to the Glendale targets that I, I really wish they would fix is the way their legs piece together to the body. Now the body is one solid piece and that's nice. The head comes off, don't really care there. 
but the legs have like a, a, a notch groove in them and they just slot on. Well, that foam is soft right there on the edges, so it really doesn't stay on well. When you try to pick it up and move it, the legs fall off. Um, with the actual pre-rut, it came with plastic legs. And I'm gonna tell you right now, those plastic legs don't last worth a flip. That is the worst target I've ever had as far as the legs falling apart. I mean, they just, I had it stood up with some stakes and stuff. It just would not stay together from pretty much from brand new. This one's a little bit better. It has the foam legs. Um, they're beefier. It holds together better, um, but it still falls falls off. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have the issue of um, the actual body falling off while I'm shooting like I did on the pre-rut. So both targets, great targets. The R&W is a little more expensive than the full rut is, um, but they're both uh, in the high 200s, early 300s. Um, but for this one, it's to compared to like a $750 um, McKenzie. This one here, easier pull, can shoot broadheads and not have to worry about it. Um, and it's a really big target. This one's going to be the target that I keep back there where I can shoot 100, 120 yards. Um, and I'm going to put a little canopy over it, but you don't have to. Uh, my other target, I've had it outside for five years and it, it's just fine other than just being worn out but it's not from the weather. So there you go, there's your good review. Um, I can't say enough about either one of the targets. If I was gonna put the money into it, it would probably go to this one as of right now, the R&W. If I was gonna shoot broadheads a lot, my money would go to the Glendale for sure, just because this insert's replaceable. This is replaceable, but you have to replace the whole midsection, but it will last longer out in the weather, so. There's pros and cons to both. Um, it's up to you which one you which one you'd rather have. If I was if it was somebody that I'm going to shoot broadheads quite a bit and I don't have another target to shoot them into, I'm going to get the full rut. If I'm just going to shoot field tips and I just want to practice out in the yard, blah blah blah, I want a target that's going to last for years and years. I'd go R and W. So uh, like and subscribe below. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for both of these targets where you can look them up look at the specs and all that stuff. And uh, just uh, give me some uh, criticism or some feedback or whatever. Let me know what I could change or what I need to do to fix my videos or if you want to see anything else. Thank you. Have a good one.